Jordan's Prime Minister meets with Qatar's Prime Minister in Doha. A Qatari diplomat has called Doha one of the United Nations' largest supporters. Qatar Central Bank's foreign reserves have surged by 11.8%. And finally, Qatar's Minister of Sports and Youth crowns the winners of the Ramadan Football Championship. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Jordanian Prime Minister Bishr al khassawni met with Qatar's Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani on Monday in Doha. During the meeting, the two sides expressed their strong condemnation towards the repeated Israeli attacks on Al-Aqsa Mosque and Palestinian worshippers. A statement by Qatar's Foreign Ministry noted that the leaders also stressed the important role of the Jordanian custodianship over Muslim and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem. Qatar has been named one of the biggest supporters of the United Nations by the President of the UN's General Assembly 66th session, Nasser bin Abdelaziz Al Nasser. Al Nasser spoke about the significant role Qatar has played at the international level, with the Gulf state being in the middle of several international mediations. The official also stated that Doha has made a name for itself in the field of diplomacy and is recognized for facilitating global dialogue and promoting peace in international relations. Now, Qatar Central Bank's international reserves and foreign currency liquidity has been on a major rise. Figures issued by QCB show that the amount has reached 235 billion riyals, an 11.8% increase from the same month last year. Major elements of the official reserves include bonds, bills, cash balances with foreign banks, deposits, and gold. And finally, the Ramadan Football Championship, which was organized by Qatar Sports for All Federation, came to a close on Monday evening. al Tadamon beat al Wahab 3-2 on penalties after a tense match ended 2-2 in normal time. Qatar's Minister of Sports and Youth, Saleh bin Ghanem al-Ali, crowned the winners of the tournament at Aspire. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co.